Hey everyone, um, still trying to master this video thing, but I'm at one of my client's houses today being built. It's actually a, um, a duplex, two houses next to each other. And we're at the pre-drywall phase. Um, so usually most builders, right before you go into a new build, um, before they put drywall, you do a pre-drywall walkthrough. And so I kind of wanted to show you a little bit about that today. Um, kind of some of the things that you want to look for when you're kind of going through there. Uh, hire a third party inspector, I always recommend that. Um, but also, if you don't hire a third party inspector, just kind of what you can look for um, to kind of help you when you move in know where things are. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you around a little bit and kind of show you a couple things. You know, as you kind of walk through the house, you can see how there, it's even prior to installation as well. So it allows you to see what's going on inside your walls. Um, and if you see here, you got these little plates. These are protecting, so when you put the, the, the sheetrock or drywall, whatever you call it, up, it doesn't hit the water lines coming through. And so you, you always want to, you know, so the inspectors look for that. And as a matter of fact, we walked through this house yesterday and there was a couple missing there and now they're all there. And you can also see your wires going up and the panels. So when you want to hang stuff on the wall, you kind of want to know where you're, you know, where not to put nails. So I always tell my clients to kind of come through here and take a few pictures of where some of the items are. Um, and as you kind of look through the house, you can see where all the plumbing is and all the wires and it's really neat to get an idea when you're building a house what it looks like before everything gets all covered up um, you know so as you can see the wires coming through here um, again you got the, the the plate on there protecting some of the things and then you got up top there you can see all your plumbing coming through um, and you can see where your scuttle hole for the attic is going to be and it really gives you a good idea of where things are. You know, one of the things you see this backing up here, this is the kitchen. And so, and that's the hood vent going, which vents out, which is something they do down here in Texas, but they don't do in all markets, um, which is kind of nice because it keeps the smell out of the house uh, above your stove. But if you look there, you got that wood, that wood you see going across horizontally is to hold up your cabinets. Um, and so if they don't have that, your cabinets will hold up, but they probably won't hold up for very many years. So you always want to make sure you have those. But anyways, it's always good to get an inspection. But those are the things the inspector is looking for. He's looking at the plumbing. He's looking, you know, these are the water lines here. And so they make sure they are full with water now because they want to make sure it's not leaking before they put the drywall up. So all the water lines, you know, all have water in them. You have plugs in your drain lines with water above it. Um, just to kind of make sure everything holds tight, but it's always good. The inspector will go through the house and look for all these little things like that um, that will help you, um, you know, help you work with the builder to get the things uh, fixed. So because once you put the drywall up, it makes it a lot more difficult. Um, here's like another little area where you got a lot of the plumbing coming in. They have an outside tankless water heater and this is the plumbing coming in. So when you're putting stuff up, you want to try to avoid this corner. So again, I always tell my client, you know, take some pictures um, so you can kind of see, you know, when you look at, on, you know, on windows, you got extra studs. So when you're hanging stuff, you can kind of see where that kind of stuff is at. So I always, like I said, just take a few pictures, look where your cords are, look where your wires are. Um, so when you are hanging things, you know where that is. Um, so it's always helpful to do that or even take a video like I'm doing now. Um, but that's all I got for you. I hope you all have a great day and I hope this is helpful when you do your next uh, new build.